Okay, so now we're looking at question seven. Um, we've got a few bits to it. The first part, describe a sequence of two geometrical transformations that maps the graph of y equals x squared onto the graph of y equals 4x squared minus 5. Well, let's have a look at this in two bits. Let's have a look at the x um, transformation and the y transformation. So I'm just going to see what we need to do to get to 4x squared. I'm just going to worry about this bit first. So we started out with y equals um, x squared. Um, then we're looking at a transformation in the x direction, a, a stretch in the x direction. Um, and, the, and what we're going to say is, what do I have to do to get to 4x squared? Well, I'm going to think, there's a few ways to think about it. I'm, I'm going to think about this as, well, what we've done is, um, we've taken this x bit here, this x function here, and uh, we've put uh, a 2 in it. We, we said, OK, so y equals 2x all squared and that gets us to 4x squared so what we put a 2 in front of the x so what does that what does that do to the graph well remember it's a it's this is a depends on the function here and so it does the opposite so this is a stretch uh, uh, in the x-axis And the scale factor is uh, the scale factor is a half. And then this makes the second bit easier if you think about it. Um, and and then we're just taking away five. So we've done stretching the x-axis scale factor a half, and then uh, we're doing a transformation which is just zero, and it's just moved down five. The second part. Uh, so it's it's moved in the y direction to down five. Okay. Um, second part: sketch the graph of y equals mod four x squared minus five. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just sketch a graph of four x squared minus five uh, as normal, and then we're just going to um, just take the positive parts of it. So we're going to we do we do four b, and we're going to sketch a graph of y equals four x squared minus 5. So um, what I really want to know is where that cuts, the roots of this, where it cuts. So um, I'm going to put it equal to 0. So this is going to be 4x squared equals 5. So x squared equals uh, 5 over 4. So my x value is going to be um, root 5 over 4. is equal to root 5 over 2. Uh, so those, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut at, um, the, the positive and negative of this. Okay. So uh, let's draw a graph uh, or sketch a graph of this. It's going to be quadratic, uh, symmetrical. It's going to come down uh, like that. Um, and it's going to cut at minus root 5 over two um plus root five over two and also because it's sketch um i want to know where it cuts here uh well it cuts here when x is zero and um, so this is going to be minus five that's where it cuts there but remember the question is ask, not asking us to do a sketch of four x squared minus five it's asking us to do a sketch of the modulus of that so all this bit here that's negative i'm going to reflect up so my actual sketch Um, it's going to come down like this, uh, and it's going to do something like that. These points where it touches here are the same, and but this is going to be five now. Okay. So that's my sketch. Okay, and then finally, it's asking us to um, solve this equation. C part I solve this equation. 4x squared minus 5, the modulus of equals to is equal to 4. So 4x squared minus 5 equals 4. So this is um, solving that mod equation there. 
Uh, and the way to do this is you just find the solutions to this, and you find the solutions to the negative of four as well. And those are going to be the places. What we're actually after here is where does this curve here um, cut the line? Um, what it was for. So we're looking for four solutions. Okay. Um, so let's have a look. This is going to be this is going to go to four x squared equals nine. X squared equals nine over four. X equals um, square root of nine over four. And we can do that. That's going to be uh, three over two and minus three over two. And then the solutions for the other one, 4x squared equals um, 1. x squared equals a quarter. So x equals square root of a quarter. And again, we're going to get um, a half and minus a half. There's your four solutions. So if I go back up to this... Um, this curve that I sketched here, I can tell you the places where it cuts the line y equals 4. It's going to cut at um, a half, minus a half, um, minus 3 over 2, and 3 over 2. So to answer the final question, where does, uh, or over a solid equation, when is that curve? greater than or equal to 4. When is it greater than or equal to 4? Well, it's greater than or equal to 4 here, between minus a half and a half, here, less than um, minus 3 over 2, and here, more than 3 over 2. So, um, I can uh, write that as a set of inequalities. So, this is 4 part 2. When is... Uh, 4x squared minus 5 greater than or equal to 4. It's when x is less than or equal to minus a half. Uh, when x is greater than or equal to half. And when it's between... Uh, sorry. Uh, I said this wrong. Uh, it's when x is less than 3 over 2, minus 3 over 2. When it's more than 3 over 2, and when it's in between minus a half and a half, so that we're gonna, we can say that it's between minus a half is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to a half. And that, that's the solution of the inequality. There. And that's the final part of question 7.